How's it going, everybody? So in this video, I am going to um, give you guys a six pack app tip. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. So the tip that I'm gonna give you guys is gonna be about weight loss today for getting six pack abs. Um, if you don't know to get six pack abs, everyone has abs. Every single person living on this earth have abs. Not everyone will have six packs. Some people, their genetics may only give them four packs. Um, some people will have eight or 10 packs, which is really insane, but some people do have it. Now, the thing for getting abs, generally the reason why you can't see your abs is because there is fat covering your abs. So in order to uncover your abs, you need to lose the weight. Once you have lost the weight, your abs will then start to show. How they show and how shredded or how they pop is determined on how much muscle you have built in the area. Needless to say, we're gonna talk about losing weight and a tip that I always give people that will really allow them to lose weight. Biggest thing on losing weight is people want to lose it as quickly as possible and people wanna lose like 30, 40, 50 pounds in a month. Here's what happens when you lose weight. Generally, the first week, you'll drop anywhere from five to 10 pounds, depending on how much you weigh. The less you weigh, the less weight you'll drop. The more you weigh, the more weight you'll drop in the first week. This has to do with sodium, water, and carbohydrate intake. What happens is when you're eating unhealthy, your sodium is really high generally. With high sodium, you will consume more water because you're the more salt you consume, the thirstier you're gonna get. And generally foods that aren't healthy are generally high in carbohydrates, bad carbohydrates, not complex carbohydrates, very simple carbohydrates. So all that contributes to your water weight. Your water weight can fluctuate on a day-to-day -day basis. It can fluctuate anywhere from zero to six pounds. So if you're noticing, sorry, one to six pounds. So if you're noticing one day, hey, I'm 240, the next day, hey, I'm 237, the next day I'm 245, what the hell? It's just your water weight fluctuating it has nothing to do with you actually losing weight. So what will happen, and this happened for me, when I started losing weight, I started at 202 pounds. And then what happened after the first week, I was weighing 196. So I lost six pounds the first week. Now people are saying, whoa, you lost six pounds of fat. I didn't lose any fat. Um, I was maintaining my calories and I lost six pounds of water weight. So that's six pounds. Um, the next week I've lost two pounds, which is eight. The next week after that, I lost two. Sorry, first week I've lost eight, six pounds of water, two pounds of fat. Next week was two, next week was two for a total of 12 pounds. I've lost roughly 13 pounds or so in three weeks. So that's roughly the right amount. Um, the thing is that I would only recommend losing one to two pounds per week. I've been doing this for 11 years, so it's pretty easy for me to lose two pounds a week. Um, one pound a week is probably better for people just starting off. Um, if you're losing four to five pounds per week, I've done this before. I've lost weight extremely quickly. What will happen is you will sacrifice a ton of muscle. And what will happen, and I've done this before too, is that when you actually get down to the weight that you want to be, you're going to look like crap because you've lost a ton of muscle. doesn't matter how much weight you lose. If you're losing muscle, your body's not going to look as good. You want to maintain as much muscle as possible. And that can't be done if you are losing too much weight too quickly. So simple way to tell if you are losing too much weight is to go by how your weight or how your strength is doing in the gym. Have a look at a couple of your main exercises, bench press, military press, squats. How are they doing? If you're benching 225 for five reps, and after three weeks, you're down to 175 for five reps. You have lost 50 pounds on your bench press. That is awful. Chances are you are cutting weight way too quickly. I've lost 13 pounds. My bench has stayed at the exact same weight, the exact same reps after three weeks of cutting. So that's perfect. That means I am losing all fat, not losing barely any muscle. That's a good indicator that I am maintaining my muscle mass, which is amazing. On certain types of exercises, I've actually increased my repetitions by one to two reps, which is amazing. I've added 2.5 to five pounds on some on certain exercises as well. So my strength is awesome. I'm super happy. 
this is a good indicator that I'm losing weight at a sufficient time per week or a sufficient amount per week. Um, again, that is the biggest indicator. And if you're wondering, well, what does this have to do with six-pack abs? You will not get six-pack abs if you're just losing muscle. If you lose 20 pounds of muscle in like two weeks or three weeks, then what's going to happen is your abs won't show because you're losing muscle, you're not losing fat. So that's super important. Make sure you're actually losing fat, not muscle. So end of video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram, Dylan Burke 999. Thank you.